All right, so I know everyone tuned in to the MetaConnect 2025 event for that flashy keynote, but here's the truth. The biggest announcements, they didn't actually happen there. They came at the developer conference, and I think they completely change what the Meta Glasses can do. So let's dive in. Now, this was the moment literally everything changed. Today, we're announcing a way to do just that. We'll soon be releasing the Meta Wearables Device Access Toolkit, an SDK for iOS and Android applications that enables developers to extend their mobile apps to glasses. By integrating a few lines of code into your app, you can build experiences that access the microphones, speakers, camera, and certain tap gestures on our AI glasses. These experiences live in your app's code, but they extend to glasses. To show you just how interesting this could be, imagine a gardening app where I can put on my glasses in the morning, walk out to my garden, and have an ongoing hands-free conversation with an AI-powered gardening expert that knows my region and the weather and what I've planted, knows what tools and fertilizer I have in the shed, and was with me when I planted everything last week. Because glasses are hands-free, my phone stays in my pocket while I ask questions, use the camera to capture photos or point out specific plants. I can talk to the app rather than focusing on a small keyboard on my phone, making for quicker, more intuitive, and more human interactions. And most magically, because the app can access the eye-level camera on my glasses when I give it permission, it can see what I see and give me deeply personalized, real-time advice based on the plants it sees in front of me. Or imagine a fitness app that helps personal trainers or coaches remotely coach their clients through a home workout. With our SDK, that app can now connect to glasses so that I can start my workout, enable the camera, put my phone away, and have my trainer coach me with in-ear audio while they see exactly what I see at home through my camera. My trainer and I can save clips to the app to refer to next time, and I can pause a workout when I need to take a break or answer the door. Meta announced that app creators now have access to the SDK for the Meta Glasses. That means developers can now tap directly into the cameras, the microphones, speakers, and even the tap gestures on the side of the glasses. And they can build these right into their own apps. So it's the start of that, that app ecosystem for the meta glasses that honestly, we've all been waiting for. So let's look at some of the demos that early access developers have already been creating. First, take the golf app, 18 birdies. Hey, 18 birdies, what's my distance to the pin? The pin is 127 yards. I'd recommend a gap wedge. Guys, guys, let's get a photo. Hey, 18 birdies, take a photo. Check it out. Oh, that's sick. Now with the SDK, you can look at the green, ask your glasses how far away the pin is, and it instantly gives you that distance in yards. You're not having to fumble with your phone, you're not having to break your focus. You just glance, ask, and then you swing. And then Disney showed off one of the most mind-blowing examples. What's that? How can I ride it? That's the Mark Twain Riverboat, a classic Disneyland paddle boat. It's nearby and you can board for a relaxing 14-minute cruise. Where can I get a gluten-free snack? Tropical Imports, right by you in Frontierland, has fresh fruit, cuties mandarins, and other gluten-free snacks. Want to check the menu? Where can I get one of those? You can get that poured keychain nearby at the creature stall here in Galaxy's Edge. What's this ride, and is it appropriate for my four-year-old? This is Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. It's gentle, family-friendly, and perfect for young kids, including your four-year-old. Hey, Bita, Pirates of the Caribbean currently has a short wait time. Want directions? Yeah, that sounds great. How do I get there? Once you get to New Orleans Square, Pirates of the Caribbean will be just ahead on your right. Okay. 
Hey, Bita, Winnie the Pooh is nearby. Would you like to meet him? Yeah. Can you tell me how to get there? So at the park, you can just look at a ride and the glasses tell you exactly what it is. You can ask about wait times, get real-time updates on ride statuses, and even check the menus at all the different food vendors that are there all across the park. So it's really neat that now you can imagine navigating Disney World without pulling your phone out to figure out what's going on in the park. So as you can see, with the SDK and the glasses, this is really gonna open up an entirely different world of possibilities that we're gonna have. And if you're a creator, you can even stream directly from your glasses to platforms like Streamlabs and Twitch. It's hands-free live streaming anywhere you want on the go. Now, here's an important detail. There's not gonna be a separate app store just for the glasses. Instead, developers can integrate these SDK features into the apps you already use on both iOS and Android. But here's where I think Meta could take it a step further. Imagine if the Meta AI app had a Discover Apps feature, a single place where you could browse and find all the apps that you're able to connect to your glasses. They've already got something sort of like that with the apps connection, but it's buried deep in the settings menus. And to be honest, I really, really think that this needs to be pulled out and featured in a place that's easy to see in the Meta AI app. That would make the adoption so much easier and it's gonna keep everything in one place so you can discover features that you didn't even know existed through the apps that are integrated now. So before we wrap up, I do wanna make one thing clear. Based on all the information available, this first release of the SDK is not gonna give developers access to the display inside the new Meta Ray-Ban display glasses. They'll be able to use the cameras, the microphones, and the speakers, but they won't be able to send visuals or different overlays into the lenses. At least not yet. Meta did say in the developer conference that the display and the SDK for the display are a key area they're exploring for future updates, but it's just not gonna be part of version one. And the same goes for the new Meta Neural Band gestures. Those won't be supported in the initial SDK either. So more than likely, they're gonna be taking all the data from this first SDK and seeing how they can improve on it before releasing an SDK that'll work with both the display and the neural wristband. I can't imagine that this would come any earlier than the end of 2026. So while developers can start building amazing audio and camera-based experiences right away, the real AR-style visual apps, they're gonna have to wait for a future update. They're also gonna roll out to the previous generation of Meta AI glasses, which means that if you already own a pair, you're still gonna benefit from the wave of developer-created apps and experiences. So the glasses that you have right now, honestly, are about to get way better. We just have to wait a little bit for the developers to implement the new features into their apps. So interestingly, while most people were focused on the keynote hardware reveals, the developer conference quietly set the stage for the future of their smart glasses. Now, I wanna know what you think. Which of the use cases we just saw excites you the most? Do you think it's the golf app, the Disney park experience, the streaming, or maybe even the fitness coaching? That's the one I think is pretty cool. And what are the apps that you're most excited to see get support for the Meta Glasses? Drop your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be breaking down every bit of smart glass information I can find and I'm gonna see you next time. Thanks everyone.